think so. So this is Flavor Town by Guy Fieri. <laughs> Guy Fieri Flavor Town. Don't USA. ever talk to me ever. Yeah. <laughs> Flavor Town USA. I don't I'm Matt Rodbard. I'm Dookie Hong, and we're the authors of Koreatown, a cookbook. And we're here to tell you about 10 things you need to know about eating and drinking in Koreatown and a little bit about the culture, too. Mm -hmm. Culture. 10 things. Culture. <laughs> Korean barbecue is the great gateway drug for Korean food in America, but really, there's so much more going on than Korean barbecue. And it's freaking delicious, people. And it's especially delicious on 32nd Street in Manhattan. Are you just giving a shit? Especially plug? at a place called Pekchung, New York City. So please come eat. Shameless plug alert. But really, for real, Korean food is beyond barbecue. It's soups and stews. It's seasoned vegetables like called namu. It's kimchi, but not just kimchi. It's lunch boxes, marinated short ribs that you can also get on 32nd that Street right there at Pekchung, New York City. Please come eat. That is a shameless plug again. It's not a shameless plug. My favorite dish in Koreatown is by far gamjatang. It's fun to say gamjatang, and it's also just incredible. It's pork neck, perula leaves, black pepper, and potatoes. Gamjatang, what do you think? What is your favorite? Uh, definitely pudichige. It's also yeah. fun to say, pudichige. Um, <laughs> and it's got spam in it. It's oh. in the cookbook, page 67. Yeah. I just made that up. I don't yeah. know if it's page 67. It's a, it's a pretty good dish. It's a spicy, uh, you got that sweet, and you got that not really sweet, but more spicy and yeah. then umami, but then you got Spam, so... Yeah. How can you go wrong with Spam? Yeah. Yeah. New York versus LA, we're asked this all the time. Like, which one is, has a better Koreatown? I'm with LA because you can really you drive down the street, you're going to a Gamjatang restaurant, Samgitang restaurant, Solatang. They all have these specialized restaurants and the food is pretty much dope, right? Well, you like driving, Maddie, and I like to save the earth. So, um, I like to walk, and in K-Town in New York, you can have a whole night out, uh, drinking, yeah. eating, karaoke. But yo, the food, where's it better? I, I mean, can, can I put you on the spot? Where's it better? Where's the food better? Next question. So mukbang is basically food porn, a version of food, food porn. It's people eating in front of a camera and others paying to watch them eat. But we're talking about like 16 bowls of ramen over and over and over again. Yes. Are you into that? No. I wouldn't pay anybody. I mean, being the participant. Oh yeah, if I was on the receiving end. Yes. Which sounds weird, but I would love to be on the receiving end of that. Of all that ramen. Of all that, yes, and payment. Soul Train, also known as uh, Soju Bombs. Beer and Soju uh, on a train. You knock it down, the soul. Soju Bombs, and uh, there's a perfect ratio to yeah. it, how I like it, how you should drink it. Um, you kind of fill your beer up to the logo of the cup. There's gonna be a cup picture somewhere here. And then a full shot of soju. And then train. 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 Kanbei! Pocha is like the greatest word in Korean in the Korean language. Pocha is short for pojamacha, which are Korean taverns. Basically, it's the end of the night, you've had Korean barbecue, you've done some norbang, you end up at a pocha, which is basically the greatest place on earth when you've had like 20 bottles of soju, right? Yeah. Dogs. Dog. Mm. Kimchi. Kimchi is more of a verb than a noun, meaning you can kimchi anything. You can kimchi daikon radish, you can kimchi cabbage called beju kimchi, you can kimchi pineapple, which is in our book. You can also slap somebody with kimchi. First one's slap ones. Oh. <laughs> oh Alright, so K-pop. K-pop is everywhere in Koreatown. It's on the soju bottles, it's posters in the restaurants, everyone, it's on the, the screens, the television screens. So who's your favorite K-pop artist? Uh, Big Bang. Wow. Fantastic baby. Dance. Is my favorite. So yeah, all the pretty boys. They got that cool haircut. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> I like Keith Ape. You know Keith Ape? It's my He's like a trap rapper. He collaborates with like Waka Waka Flame and mm. Aesop Ferg. Plug He's got some Keith crazy talent right now. Dude, Keith Ape, man. He's got crazy good too. Love that haircut. Dude. I love that haircut. Thank you, Collab, for uh, collaborating with us. And you can buy our book on Amazon. You can order in stores, and you can find out more information at KoreatownCookbook.com. The link is right here. Hey, it's a cookbook. Koreatown a cookbook. It is Korea Town a cookbook. How's my hair? It's good. I Thanks. like it. Thanks, man. Look at that. Awesome. You have kimchi in your breath. Uh -huh. Oh, that's really? cold. That was cold.